In this video, we're gonna be using Shannon soaps. This is silk pajamas and the Feather SS Shavette type razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And today we have some stuff that I think we'll really enjoy. This uh, sample was sent to me by Marion the Bar Barbarian. This is, um, or I call him MTB. So whenever in the comments below you see MT MTB, that means Marion the Barbarian. And this is Shannon Soaps. I'll show you what the tub looks like. Silk pajamas. And I never bought this one before because I honestly didn't know if I'd like the scent. Let me go ahead and show you right there how Shannon's describes the scent. And this is a pleasant surprise because I did not think I would like this scent at all. And actually, it's not bad. It, it wouldn't be in my top five Shannon soap scents, but I would say this is a nice fall scent. It's not too dark. It's got a little bit of a darkness to it. It's got a warm tobacco, citrus, rose, but the rose is not granny type, you know, sweet floral rose. It's got that sort of rose darkness. And so this one, surprisingly um, to me, is pleasant and I did not expect that. So that's outstanding. Thank you, Marion, for sending that. And of course, we'll use the Feather SS Shavette, which has been my favorite Shavette to use. And it's primarily because of the weight and there's plenty of room there on the tang for your fingers. And I just really like the way this shaves. So let's go ahead and get into it today. This is a 24 hours growth, normal. We're an everyday shaver, unless there's something going on and I can't shave for some reason, traveling or something. We'll go ahead and start with the PAA pre-shave cube. Not that we need it, but I have it. May as well use it. There's no need to just leave it sitting around when I can leverage the the old cube here. And I hope everyone is having a great Saturday, or excuse me, today's Friday. <laughs> or is it Saturday? I don't even know what day it is. Anyway, later today uh, will be, or maybe tomorrow. Today's Saturday, so it'll be either Saturday or Sunday, I will be posting a, uh, a video with sebum, which um, Lather Me Whiskers sent. I think Ken Klitschko uh, originally sent it to him, and I think he passed it on to me. And I, too, will pass on some of that sample to someone else, and this sample, for that matter. Let me tell you something right now. This sample lathered up beautifully. Um, just using my normal lathering procedures, the sebum was disappointing. Sneak, sneak peek. Sneak Pete, Sneaky Pete. I, boy, I'm confused today. <laughs> that is a uh, Sneaky Pete is the show on Amazon, which I, I happen to like. But anyway, Sneak Peek. Um, I did not like the sebum. I did not like it at all. And so uh, check out that video <laughs> when it comes up. Let's read Hydrate here and then we'll get to lathering. The Shannon's whipped up very nice. Very nice indeed at a fraction of the cost. We're using the that darn Rob, uh, now chisel and hound. <sighs> do we have to say we missed the that darn Rob name and coin? Yes, we do. It's obligatory at this point. Beautiful brush though. The knot was put in by J.R. Reyes of Reyes Restorations. I'll link his uh, face, uh, Instagram information below. Super creamy lather on this Shannon's. That is just beautiful. And this is orders of magnitude better <laughs> than, the, than the sebum, that is just beautiful. If you lather Shannon's properly, and this is their goat milk formula, by the way. Let me go ahead and show you the ingredients uh, right there and tell you about the cost while I'm lathering. The ingredients on this, you got great things like kokum, avocado oil, cocoa butter, goat's milk, really nice. And the cost on this, this is one of their premium goat milk formula, still only $15.95 for four ounces on our cost chart, $3.98 per ounce, still under, four dollars which is a good price and as you can see you know this this lather is superb and the shannon's product is superb and every time i use it i tell people don't sleep on it a lot of people do sleep on it and uh, honestly you are missing out on a tremendous value and this goat's milk formula here look at the lather i mean you can tell <laughs> it's a good lather just by looking at it um Unlike the sebum, which you'll see either later today or tomorrow, I, pfft, that was disappointing on every level. I got to be honest. Um, but this man just brightens my day. Uh, thank you very much, Marion. So let's get to work today and let's try to be careful when putting the blade to our face. My Achilles heel with straight razor, St. Shavettes, 
is being careful when I'm putting the blade to my face. The Shavette is available on Amazon. It's usually around 60 to $70, somewhere thereabouts. I'll put a link below. Um, those first few passes were just fantastic. Right now I'm using the ProGuard blade, but when I fit this one, just still feels super smooth and I'm not gonna chuck a blade just to use another blade. But I'll be, I will be replacing this blade with a super the next time, just to see how the, the Feather Super compares to this one. But so far, it's still feeling um, outstanding, it really does. And I like this. This is probably my overall favorite shave at because the weight and the way I feel that it it really um, gives a good approximation to a straight razor in terms of the way it feels. It feels very well made. I love the way the Wex shave also, but they're very, very light in comparison to this one. So if you prefer more heft, maybe look to the Feather SS or DX. The, the DX version is much more expensive, but it doesn't have this sort of uh, beveling there which some people like and some people do not. That sort of helps you find your angle. Some people don't care for that. Um, it doesn't bother me. Um, I still find this very easy to use and smooth. And smooth and, and sharp for me are the key when using an open blade of any type. I want it to be very sharp so there's no tugging and I want it to be smooth so it doesn't feel rough. And this um, feather blade accomplishes that and the feather shape it generally quite well. So I really like this one a lot. And uh, once I got over the initial hesitation with it, I have really enjoyed using it. But boy, I tell you what, used to be, when I used this razor, it was nerve wracking because if you put this, if you come in hot with any of these Shavettes, especially, it's gonna be a memory line like the one I made the other day with the uh, Double Duck Hair Shaper. It will, uh, it will remind you you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing if you make a mistake very, very quickly. So the Shannons, fantastic. Um, absolutely superb. I really, really enjoy this brand. Again, you hear me talking about it every time I use it, and I've been using it quite a bit recently. Um, it's one of those um, brands where you really get your money's worth, and um, I have known Brian and Shannon for quite a few years now. Um, they participate in a lot of the Facebook groups and so on. Really nice people that we joke around a lot and have fun and... Uh, they're just wonderful people, and so I really like it when I see other people trying their stuff and supporting them because, you know, they're not the type of folks that are running around talking trash about other artisans, talking trash about um, their customers, and they're just good contributors to the hobby. Man, look at that. I'm telling you right now. I, and I say this when I use Sterling and Shannon's. If you can't get a good lather out of Shannon's, you are doing something wrong. Or maybe you have hard water, or maybe there's there's some situation that is off in some way because I have used Shannon's a lot over the years and it has never left me wanting for anything in terms of lather qual uh, quality. And the price is right. They're not trying to reach into your pocket and extract every penny, you know. And they're not generally making all these claims that, uh, from my perspective, just simply can't be validated. You know, they're not making all these claims about, you know, my soap is going to give you 12 times better posts. And they just sort of put the products out there. Um, and, you know, they, they don't, they're not hard selling you, you know. And I like that. Also... They're getting more and more distributors. So I've seen them now at the Razor Company. I've seen them at Pastors. Congratulations on getting into Pastors. 
uh, Maggard, and so maybe others that I don't even know about, so. Really, really happy, and uh, this one was a surprise to me, like I said earlier. Uh, Marion dropped the sample in with uh, a sample of the First Line Shave. Razor Ruby, ooh, that reminds me. Razor Ruby Undead. I have a giveaway for Razor Ruby Undead for a tub of that soap. I will link that video below. Watch the video and find out how to enter that giveaway. And uh, I will announce that at some point in the next week or two. And I will just drop it in the middle of some video. I won't put, I won't put winners announce. You know, you, you've gotta be watching and so. Uh, we look forward to giving that soap away. Man, this blade is still super smooth. I tell you what, when I use the WEC or the Feather SS, I get some of my closest shaves. And I also hear, I've heard um, other people saying that as well. They feel they get just a little bit closer. I don't know why that is, but, I, you know, maybe it's because of the sharpness of the blade. I, I'm speculating because I honestly do not know, but I get some nice, smooth shaves and my face feels great afterwards. So I really enjoy using them a lot. And I also saw where Junior, in his last video, the dude of shaving, if you don't know who Junior is, he was, uh, he's been trying them a little bit recently. He've used, he's used the this razor a few times. And initially he didn't like it at all, but now he's warming up to it a little bit. So <laughs> I'm glad you're at least giving it a chance. He still prefers straight razors. And honestly, that's okay. I mean, you don't have to use everything if you don't want to, but I do encourage you to try things and, you know, give them a chance and just see how it goes. Because I think you can certainly get a good shave from these babies. Um, or at least they work well for me. And this one is probably my favorite. So Junior, you know, keep it up. I don't know if Junior would like the WEC because the WEC is so light that I'm not sure that would be to his liking. I'm a little bit concerned. And I'm thinking maybe Junior should get one of those metal handled WECs to put a little more weight to it because he, he likes a little more weight in his razors. But, you know, let's hope he, uh, if he does try one. He likes it. I could send him one of the small ones I have, but I don't think he would like it is the problem. I just don't think he would like it. Because he's been, you know, uh, his first, our first conversations, I was like, man, you got to try these. These things shave so smooth and close. And he was like, I don't like the weight of them. And I was, so I put the, this razor on the scale and it's very, very close in weight to most of your five eighths razors and some six eighths. So, I said, I don't know what you're talking about, but he prefers like the beefy, let's get some of that pre-shave away from there. I don't have dark spots under my eyes yet anyway. But uh, anyway, uh, he likes heavier, you know, like the gold dollar is almost three ounces and he likes that. And the, the Feather um, SS, I can't remember what it weighed in that. I'll maybe, put in the picture right there of what it weighed in that. But the the Feather SS weighs a little less than that. I'm gonna tell you right now. This soap, in terms of quality, very nice, very nice indeed. Takes hydration well, this, goes, this goat's milk formula is nice. And they also have their, what I call the regular formula. It is fantastic, honestly. The regular formula is all I need. But I do appreciate the goat's milk. Um, goat's milk is one of the ingredients I like in soaps. Whether it actually does anything or not, I don't know. But in my head, I think I get a little more creamy, lathering experience. And for me, it doesn't do anything for the actual shave, but I just kind of like it. It feels nice. <laughs> you know, it just, it's more enjoyable. I think what that's what the luxury products do is they give you perhaps slight more enjoyment in your lathering experience. And ultimately it is all about enjoyment. You know, we we get locked up in these disagreements sometimes. And what I have found folks recently is a lot of folks don't have what I call 
intellectual stamina. That is, they don't, they, they really begin to unwind if they have disagreements with folks. And that's just, I find it across the board in life. People don't have tolerance for other points of view or disagreement. And for me, we can disagree all day long as long as we're civil. But I find people don't have the stamina to withstand another point of view. And I uh, try to communicate with lots of different people where I'm getting lots of different point of views on all of these products. And many folks who I talk to regularly, we don't agree, you know, but we, um, we try to listen to each other and respect each other. And I would encourage everybody to work on your intellectual stamina. Don't immediately tap out or start attacking folks if they have a different point of view. Um, if you go red as soon as someone has a different point of view, you're getting it wrong. <laughs> it's that simple. So again, uh, back to what I was saying last week, be kind, you know, especially to people who care about you and exercise that intellectual stamina. Put yourself in positions intellectually that are uncomfortable and maybe where you're facing some adversity and disagreement and see if you can't just work through those via conversation, you know. Now, if you're around a bunch of hotheads, that's gonna be difficult. So that's why I'm saying you gotta build that intellectual stamina and that's certainly what I try to do. And uh, it's something that I effort to do because I used to be just like everyone else who, you know, wanted to sort of surround myself with folks who just agree. And let me tell you something. If, you, if your circle consists only of people who agree and cheer you on, you're in the wrong circle. You need to, you need to be in the circle of folks who will tell you when you're out of line and offer you some, you know, different perspectives. So work out that <laughs> intellect a little bit and develop some stamina so you can tolerate other points of view without flipping off the handle, you know, that, cause trust me, I've had to work on that myself. So I am speaking from experience. It's something that I effort to do every day, push myself to, um, get out there and talk to many different people with uh, different sort of philosophies and so on. And so I, I think it's very healthy to do so. All right, let's rinse the face. That was an excellent shave, by the way. Let's rinse the face and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with the magic made by Oasis. This is Thayer's Wix Hazel Cucumber, just in a spray bottle. Very nice stuff. And that was an outstanding shave. The Shannons hits the spot every time. We use silk pajamas today. I enjoyed it. I did not expect to enjoy the scent. Thank you, Marion. I appreciate it. We use the artist formerly known as Rob. Boy, do we miss this. And boy, my light just went out. So we don't have as much light. That might actually be a benefit to you. Uh, off cam, we use the PAA uh, alum. Look, Marion, no holes. <laughs> um, no burning whatsoever. This was a very smooth shave with our Feather um, SS. And we're gonna finish it off today with Shannon's Barbershop, just to use another Shannon's product. Again, I apologize for the abrupt light change there. This stuff smells great. If you like barbershop scents, try the Shannon's Barbershop. I think you will like it. It is very, very nice. And we're gonna smell great with the Shannon's Barbershop aftershave. I'm telling you folks, if you're not trying Shannon's and you're trying every other brand, give it a shot. You've seen the lather, you've seen me use it many times, uh, it works really well. It is priced right. Um, I really thank you for watching and I want to ask uh, one more thing. Please uh, say a prayer today. My mother has a very serious uh, procedure. i um, shooting this on Friday. These always air one day later. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this, she is in recovery. Um, I've, been, I've been very concerned about it, frankly. And, uh, you know, I could just use your thoughts, prayers, kind words. I want to thank all the people who reached out last week. It really did mean a lot to me. So Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, 
Enjoy shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.